Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Second City. For nearly a half century, the Second City has been North America's premier live improvisational and sketch comedy theater company. Its two Chicago stages regularly play to sell out audiences, and the company has built successful theaters in Toronto, Las Vegas, Denver, and Detroit. The Second City is responsible for developing some of the biggest names in comedy, including Bill Murray, John Candy, Tina Fey, and Mike Myers. They've also developed flourishing training centers, national touring companies, the Second City television series, media and entertainment offshoots, and a successful corporate communications division. Clearly, the Second City has become a national treasure in the entertainment industry. Here. Come on, all right. Where you been? I've been gone for six months. But after school, there was a party. <laughs> the business consumes little and is largely dependent on overhead. So CFO Lou Carbone and his accounting staff carefully analyze fixed and variable overhead and watch for variances. It's a fun business, but it is a business and Lou is also responsible for riding herd on their many creative endeavors. In a creative atmosphere, I guess I have to be the one who has to kind of pull in the reins, you know, like they'll come to me and say, I got this great project I want to do. And here's what's going to be, here's, here's what we're going to get out of it. And then I'm, you know, like start looking at numbers more and more and say, well, you realize we're going to lose money in this project. You, it sounds great on paper, but I think we have to come back and uh, reevaluate and maybe make some changes to it. So, yeah, I guess I tend to be the father telling the kid, no, you can't play with that toy. Lou Carbone generally pulls in the reins on variable direct production costs rather than on fixed indirect production costs. Variable costs are production, facility, and labor costs that can change from project to project. Managing fixed and variable overhead for such a diverse blend of business operations requires Lou Carbone and his accounting staff to create a fair and accurate model to allocate fixed and variable overhead expenses and watch for variances. Fixed overhead costs are capacity costs. They represent production activity capacity acquired in advance of usage, such as salaries, rent, facilities maintenance, depreciation, taxes, insurance, etc. Since many fixed overhead costs are affected primarily by long-run decisions and not by changes in production levels, the budget variance is usually small. For example, variance is usually small for their established facilities because it's predictable. Occasionally, they'll need to do a build-out on a new theater space or expand training facilities and such expenditures that are foreseeable. The fixed overhead budget calculation in each division for telephone, internet, payroll, and other shared office services is based on the number of employees who have access to these shared services. The fixed overhead budget calculation in each division for administrative support is based on a percentage of net income. Administrative support includes IT, accounting, reception, sales and marketing, and any other administrative roles that support production divisions. Each division might use a different mix of these services, and no two divisions would use the same mix, so the allocation for overhead budget for each division is based on a percentage of net income. In addition, not all divisions are allocated the same percentage. However, once the percentage of net income is allocated, it generally remains fixed for the fiscal year or longer if there is no need to change it. For example, Second City Theatricals usually stages productions off-site at other theaters, which involves few staffers. Most of their facilities costs are not overhead costs. They do, however, bear some fixed overhead costs for any rental space, for any shared services, and for administrative costs, though not as high a percentage as other divisions. The Second City Training Center, on the other hand, requires a good deal of established space. The training center overhead is based on the square footage of the space they occupy and number of employees for shared services, as well as a higher percentage of revenue for administrative services. The theatricals division expenses are direct production costs rather than indirect production costs or overhead expenses for the most part. 
Businesses like Second City typically use variances to red flag occurrences that might not be self-correcting and need attention. The theater's accounting staff finds out where responsibility for the variation falls and decides what corrections to make. For instance, if the variance of the actual cost from the budgeted fixed overhead cost for IT services is more than 10 percent, investigation will ensue to find causes. The causes can then be determined to be self-correcting or, if not, potential correction can be designed and or the fixed overhead cost can be adjusted. For example, Second City Theatricals may have a slow year because the producers are too busy with other ventures to mount a new production, while the Second City Training Center may have a surge in enrollment. This might prompt CFO Lou Carbone to shift overhead allocation from the Theatricals Division to the Training Center. He can make such a shift because of activity flexible budgeting. Activity flexible budgeting is the prediction of what activity costs will be as activity changes. Second City uses activity flexible budgeting in the areas of the traveling divisions whose schedules may be seasonal or sporadic. One way Second City uses activity flexible budgeting is with administrative overhead, which is apportioned by a percentage of revenue. The opposite method is called a functional based approach. Budgeted costs for the actual level of activity are obtained by assuming that a single unit based driver, units of product, service, or direct labor hours, drives all costs. Second City is a very entrepreneurial company with new ventures launched every year. For example, Second City recently agreed to provide comedy theater aboard Norwegian cruise line ships. One day our owner, Andrew Alexander, plopped a USA Today on my desk and it said that cruise lines were co-branding with other big companies. And he said Second City should be doing this. Uh, so we went after that business and within probably only about two months we made a deal with Norwegian Cruise Lines to be the single provider of sketch and improv comedy for that particular cruise line. They were able to quickly seize this opportunity and budget for the expansion on short notice with the help of flexible budgeting. The bottom line for the theater company is continuing to produce quality Second City style comedy for an ever growing audience. Doing this effectively means developing a financial plan, analyzing overhead, monitoring costs, and using a flexible budgeting strategy.